All right, this is part two of my Blender Challenge 3 modeling a cassette deck, which is the theme is uh, communication device, and I've chosen to do a cassette deck. Okay, and uh, I think in this part, I'm just going to do the buttons. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select uh, this face. It's a little easier. Shift D, bring it up, P to break it out. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to scale this in the X. And what I want is five buttons the first button, the record button, is uh, bigger than the others. So I'm going to just get the approximate size of this. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it like that for now. And let's go ahead and extrude this down, uh, and then we'll deal with everything else in a bit. Imagine I've got one there, and then I've got four others that are smaller than this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do beyond that is I'll take this piece, bring it down, P and break it out, and I am going to extrude this down like this. Uh, actually, I think I'll extrude it down all the way. Let's get rid of the bevel just for now on that thing. I'm going to come in here up to there. I'm going to take this bottom and I'm going to curve it under. Now this is not going to be this, the exact same uh, size. Uh, I might have it come to the back though. So the wireframe, I'll just grab this. I'm going to pull it under to about there. Okay, I'm going to go back to a bevel and I'll go 0 0.01 just uh, I'll be getting rid of this face and I'll be getting rid of that bottom face do I have it let's assume I do and uh, break it down and I'm just gonna lengthen it all the way down Okay, we'll leave it like that for the moment and come back to this guy. Okay, let's also adjust you. 0.02, let's say, for now. Uh, I'm going to take this, bring it forward just a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do is make an indentation on this. And so that indentation is going to go somewhere like that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to switch this to arc. I think I'll like that better. And uh, I'll make this 0 0.01 now. And we'll, we'll see uh, how I like that. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to um, I'm going to copy that shifty and I think I'll go in I'm going to scale this in the X and imagine if I had that one there and just just start placing these And then we can get the size of these better. Okay, so that's obviously, they're obviously too big. No problem. Okay, so let's select everything, including this guy. And let's scale them all in the X. And that almost worked right there, didn't it? Now, um, 
Okay, let's try something else. Let's go into all of them and select this face. And let's see if I bring it up a little bit. Actually, it's not, I'm not, not really going to be visible. I just want to lose my bevel. That's fine. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do next. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want them that thick anyhow. So scale these in the Z. Like this. Okay. Take this. Let's go into all of these. And let's see. And this guy too, eh? Um, let's grab this edge and pull it up a little bit more. Yeah, I'll pull out, pull out the rest of the way. Too much distance for this? Might be. I might want to go back in and pull all these up. Yeah, I can mess with that stuff later. Okay, I am going to actually come back in here now that I've thinned those out and push this down. And that'll give me some of my bevel back. It should. Let's, let's watch and see if it does. It comes up, comes a little bit rounder as I do that because I'll be covering this up, and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I got that that piece right there. Shifty, and pull that up and break it out. To scale this in the Y. And we're going to make sort of like these grips or traction or something. <laughs> you call it that. And I'm going to want about four of them across. We'll go with that for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to put an edge loop there and control B, split it just like that. So I got a wide, a narrow, and a wide. We'll take that, extrude it up. Put an edge loop there, and then let's get rid of all these faces here. We'll just rebuild. Okay, let's take uh, this edge and this edge, F and make face, and now I can take those ones and make faces. And I can also um, isolate that, get rid of the bottom. below the surface and let's try just copying it shift D okay I think I feel like I want four of these and so what I'm gonna do is I'll take them all and the scale these in the Y Take one and control L, shift D, copy that guy over and see how close we are. That's probably okay. Now, I might take all of these, not that part. Jeez, I'm just going to join these. I'm going to scale them in the X and push them into the sides. are also going to go in the other buttons. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, shifty. That's going to go in there. And I'm just going to scale in object mode. And break a bunch of rules. Yeah, shifty, shifty. Is that okay? Okay. Now this record button, however, needs an additional feature. All right. So I'm gonna hide that and go back in here. I'm gonna get rid of those. 
now I'm going to do the usual. Extrude this down. Don't worry about that. Down to this level. Right there. Make a face there. Make a face there. And there. And, um... Let's bring those back for now. I'm not going to worry about bevels and all the weird stuff well let me see I, I do have it on arc and that's what I want okay that's fine for now I'm gonna come back in here though I'm gonna borrow this piece thank you very much shift D bring it up break it out got you and take you and extend it down to about I don't know I'll start there Strewed you up In fact, I'm going to get rid of that face. Take all of this. I'm going to rotate Y 180. Push you back down in. And I just, I think I want it longer though. So I'm just, I'm thinking about to there. And so that's what I come up with for those buttons. And that's pretty much it. Um, possible they need to be a little bit longer but I think it's probably all right I could always do that I can always just grab the backs and extend them all out and then push it forward a bit um, but that's what I've got so far so those are, are now my buttons and uh, we're not too high poly all right I don't have too much more to do and it cut some pieces out. We need a volume knob and a couple of uh, inputs and maybe something on the side and fix up the handle and a couple of labels and stuff and texture the thing. Cool.